Okay guys, um, I'm going to show you real quick how to use uh, isometric tiles here in the scroller game creator. Um, I already have all my images loaded in and everything. Uh, you can see that in the previous tutorials. I'm going to go into my level editor here. and First I'm going to choose the grass. Now I have it set up for uh, both directions. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I keep the grid sitting at about uh, 20 just so you can get tight you can set it for even a little bit smaller if you want and I'm just gonna place some here this is nothing special just showing you how to lay them and I say just for a tip what you should do I oh, missed that one is I select that delete that go back here anytime you do say a turn you're gonna make a corner I say to make it wide just so your uh, character you make they don't get caught up in a corner say coming around here let me see here I'll we'll come over here a little bit I'm not gonna get too fancy here but anytime you come around a corner I'd say go at least too wide that way your characters don't get caught up and you'll see I'll place the walls here and you might have to reset some of them because of let me get here first here. Uh -huh. you'll see that way and then I'll switch to this other wall here just to close it up some and when the tiles overlap sometimes I don't know if you're able to see this low quality video, but it'll look odd. This one now just trumped that one. So I'm going to actually go back and reset this tile over there. Takes a little bit of adjusting. And let me just go back here. Nope, wrong one. Okay. And you see that you can actually build a little isometric looking world. And I th it's a little sloppy, but I'm trying to go quick. There we go. But as you can see, you can create a little isometric world and use those tiles. That's pretty slick. And now I'll just show you real quick a little hint here, a little tip, I should say. If, say, you want to get rid of uh, all these walls here, all you have to do is go back, click on here, and then right quick, select all objects of this type. You'll see that'll highlight. And then press the delete key. That's if you want to delete a lot of objects, something you didn't like really fast. So that's just a little tip that I'm going to sneak in. And delete those off. All right, there you go. Now you can. Uh, now you know how to add some isometric tiles. Thanks for watching.